Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everybody. Uh, welcome back to my channel, Charlene's Healthy Cooking. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful uh, day today and uh, wonderful weekend. And I wish you all a great week uh, ahead. So um, for next week. So anyways, today what we're gonna make, or our recipe for today, is pomegranate uh, pow smoothie. Okay, it's pomegranate smoothie. But pomegranate dough smoothie. It's pomegranate smoothie. All right, guys. We only have four uh, ingredients we need for this smoothie. Okay. First of all, what you need is the blender, right here, blender, okay, and our ingredients, all we need is one cup of milk, milk, one cup, one cup of frozen blueberries or strawberries, okay, there's the blueberries, it should be frozen guys, okay frozen but if you have fresh that's okay uh, you just put some ice when you blend it so that it it's gonna be a cold smoothie because this smoothie should be cold okay okay one cup of frozen berries like blueberries or strawberry one half cup of pomegranate juice there we go you can buy this in the store pomegranate juice but if you have a pomegranate bushes and it's producing fruits you can make your own pomegranate juice if you have a juicer okay guys there you go pomegranate juice one half cup and one banana all right one banana and slice it into small pieces so that it will be easier to blend in the blender okay all right again let's just start it again and tell you again one more time one cup milk if you go vegan for example instead i'm reusing a half and half because that's all i have but if you go vegan no dairy products at all no nothing it's completely vegan use a almond milk you can use the regular almond milk or a flavored almond milk like vanilla okay vanilla almond milk that's for vegan okay right okay guys same thing one cup everything if it's you go vegan you just use almond milk or soy milk or cashew milk all right those three kinds of, of uh, uh, nut juice nuts juice okay one one cup milk if you don't have all those if you're not vegan you can use any milk that you have except the condensed milk okay no condensed milk all right one cup milk one half cup pomegranate juice there you go that's pomegranate juice one cup frozen blueberries or strawberries or whatever the berries you have except the cranberry okay just blueberries uh, blackberries uh, raspberries um, or even cherries I think if you want uh, or strawberries okay but the best to use is strawberries frozen if you have if you use a fresh one then you need to put some ice to make it cold this smoothie okay when you blend it so one cup of blueberries that's what I'm gonna use but like I said you can use uh, all these uh, berries that I told you the blackberries blueberries something like that raspberries strawberries all those okay one cup frozen if you use fresh Remember to put some ice, okay? You can put as much as you want of the ice, okay? Doesn't matter, but I get frozen, so this is a fr frozen when I'm using one cup. 
and one whole banana cut into pieces so that it will blend it nicely so all right our uh, instructions what we need to do is we put the blender uh, uh, and the, the this, set up the blender okay there you go set up the blender and then we just gonna put all together the pomegranate juice one half cup of pomegranate juice the one cup of one cup milk there you go we're just gonna put all together our one cup frozen blueberries right. and our one whole banana cut into pieces all right there you go we're just gonna put everything in there after you prepare all the ingredients then put everything in the blender now we're gonna blend it in just few minutes this probably only takes two to three minutes uh, don't put it on high okay you use if you your um, your blender um, has an options there uh, options there that it's higher variable I always put it in variable uh, settings so it won't be uh, so high I can control the um, the machine okay into high to medium so now I we're gonna turn on now I put it I set it up onto five it's it's one to ten so I set it up on five start blending okay and you don't wanna blend that too much okay so it only takes a minute or two and then you check you know what guys I didn't have enough ice on it so I put a little more ice on it because my husband loves ice on it. Okay. Ice. Okay, I'm gonna put ice. This is already good if that's all you want. You don't need ice. But my husband likes to put a, one that this is really, really cold smoothie. So I'm gonna put some ice. Okay, you can put ice if you want. So I'm gonna put some ice. So it's your choice if you want really cold you can put ice so you're gonna put a few pieces of ice one two three four five six that's only six pieces I only put six now now that you put some ice if you need some more ice it it turned out to be like a smoothie juice the the smoothie without the ice just using the frozen berries but now I gonna turn down the um, settings of the machine the blender into the, from five to three because you don't want that ice to uh, be like so uh, watery it's like it's melted so we're just gonna have to be careful about it probably a few seconds only let's see Then turn it down and then let's check if it's all blended so there's some more in there let's blend another 30 seconds maybe there. then let's check it if it's good enough I'm gonna try it guys okay Oh, it's really good. It's still a bit icy. So let's blend another uh, few minutes more. I'm gonna turn up a little bit on high on on five the settings. Now turn back. That's just thirty seconds. 
you can tell if the ice is already uh, blended really well with the um, the smoothie if you don't hear those sounds anymore like a rocks so it only takes five minutes to make this guys including the preparations all right if you're quick it's, it's just really really easy let's just put it like five to ten minutes including the preparations and blending so this is my smoothie now so i'm gonna give one glass for my husband okay And it's really, really good. See, this is a pomegranate smoothie, okay? Pomegranate smoothie. Remember that. So, it turned out to be really nice. And it's very, very tasty. It's not too sweet. And it's, uh, and it's, but it's very tasty. It's just, um, it just blend really well with the, the blueberries. I like the blueberries better than the strawberries. Okay, but next time I'll try the strawberries and sh let you know how it tastes. But I like the blueberries. Okay, it turned out really, really good. It's a good combination with the pomegranate juice and the banana and the milk. Pomegranate juice and the blueberries is really, really good. It blended really well. Okay, guys, so... This is now my smoothie, so I hope you learned something from me again, and uh, thank you very much for joining me in my kitchen again, and um, you know, home cooking is better than eating or buying outside drinks or food or whatever else that we wanted to get when it comes to eating, so... It would be very, very nice if we people learn how to cook and change our lifestyle into a healthy lifestyle. So what I'm doing right now is I'm doing all these different kinds of cooking or uh, drinks, good food, you know, um, to help people that uh, are having a hard time. Um, figuring out how they can uh, get healthy if they have some health issues you know by doing your home cooking you if you are diabetic you have a high blood pressure problem uh, yeah you have a hypertension or um, heart problem or whatever else uh, health issues that we have we can reverse, especially the diabetes and the high blood pressure, the hypertension. You can reverse the diabetes and and and, and stop taking that blood um, for blood pressure tablets for hypertension. If you just cook it or or eat it at home, make sure that everything that you put in on the food, you know what's in it, and it's safe and it's healthy. So, I'm not asking you guys to completely vegan, but if you can do it, it's even better if you go vegan. But like I said, my husband, right now, I'm helping with his diabetes. I, I'm trying to reverse his diabetes so he doesn't need to take the insulin. Okay, guys? And also his blood pressure. So, uh, I've started cooking again, even though I have the chronic pain, but... If you guys, to all my viewers, if you guys have a friends or family members or you know someone that needs help about their health or they just want it to be, you know, uh, go into plant-based diet, you can share all my videos. You are, uh, f please feel free to uh, share my videos to your friends and families, co-workers or whoever uh, you know that needs this. To reverse their um, health problems into a healthy way diet this is not really a diet this is just how you live every day is if you want it to be uh, on plant-based but I'm still cooking or make some uh, vegetarian in in meat once in a while but only once in a while for the treat of, for my husband for being so good with his diet so if you can do it, 
and, and go to healthy lifestyle that would really, really help uh, not just you, but your families that you love. You can stay longer and live with them a lot longer than just um, forget about what we eat. You just eat whatever you want to eat. But that's not what it should be, guys. We should take care of ourselves because our body is the temple of the spirit that we get from God, okay? We have to take care of it. We we can enjoy things that we wanted to enjoy, but we also need to think about our life. Alright, guys. So, please, to all of you, to all my viewers and my subscribers, thank you so very much for taking your time to take care and to watch my videos. And, um, like I said, please feel free to share my videos to your friends and family members or to everybody. So, again, this is my smoothie. It's pomegranate smoothie. And it's really, really good. Let me try it. Mm. It's yummy. Best smoothie. The best smoothie I've ever uh, tasted. So, thank you guys for, um joining me here in my kitchen just before I go um, I just want to remind you again guys to stay healthy stay safe God bless you all and pray all the time please if you don't really need or it's not necessary for you to go out please don't go out because the Omicron variant is really spreading really fast so please um, bear that in mind and stay uh, healthy as much as we can okay so there you go guys thank you again and i love you all my heart goes to everybody to all of you thank you for supporting my channel love you guys see you guys the next and then on my next video i love you all love 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 peace thank you